Every second, a newborn is welcome to the world. As the cherry news lights up a home, another home is bereaved by the loss of a loved one, an expectant mother, perhaps a newborn during childbirth. The majority of women in 80 to 85 percent, they will have uneventful unevent, pregnancy and childbirth. However, about 10 to 15 percent of them will definitely have certain, sudden, unpredictable and complications from pregnancy, which if care is not taken and proper action taken, may lead to maternal death and infant death as well. And be it young, be it old, be it rich, be it short or tall and everything, it's something that can affect any woman as long as she is a childbearing age and she is pregnant. The United Nations Sustainable Development Goal number three stipulates healthy lives and promotes well-being for all at all ages. It also craves a reduction in global maternal mortality ratio to less than 70 for every 1,000 live births. End preventable death of newborns and children under five years of age with all countries aiming to reduce neonatal mortality to at least as low as 12 per 1,000 live births and under 5 mortality to at least as low as 25 per 1,000 live births by 2030. But how well has the country fared regarding the goal? The fact of it still remains that if we talk about um, access to um, to maternity services in the country is still very low. And this uh, reflects in the maternal mortality ratio and the perinatal mortality rates. Uh, the maternal mortality ratio in Nigeria, at least at the la last uh, national demographic, uh, demographic health survey, was still quite high, about 504, uh, 545 per 100,000 uh, uh, baths, you know. And I think our own indices are just a little better than certain countries like Bangladesh and things like that. So a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, our women are still not, um, uh, don't have access you know, to uh, good maternity care. So a lot of women end up delivering in traditional birth attendance uh, places. You know. Some deliver at home, you know. so unsupervised deliveries. So such things are not uh, unusual. Like it draw our attention to the plight of the rural community dwellers. The state has done its own bit, but in most cases, the, uh, the health workers posted to these uh, centers do not stay there. And therefore, access to emergency services, you know, uh, uh, is still a major issue. Most of them do not know that when they start convulsing during pregnancy, it's a terrible sign. But a lot of people complain of the attitude of our health workers. According to the 2017 fifth multiple indicator cluster survey conducted by UNICEF in the 36 states, while the infant mortality rate dropped significantly, deaths among children on the age five also have dropped to 120 per 1,000 live births from 158 recorded in 2011. To further reduce the rate ahead of the 2030 SDG goal, Lagos State on its part organized a town hall meeting of major players in the health sector and mothers on achieving zero tolerance on maternal and infant mortality. We have quite a lot of people who visit our traditional bath attendants. We are not saying you should not visit them. But when you go there, the people you visit must be registered with the Lagos State Government. Because not many of them can do the work properly. But the, the point here is this. Now, it would be good because it is difficult to say that we can stop them. It would be good that they can be trained. Okay. In fact, the, 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 what we are trying to do now is to make sure that these TBAs become SBAs. Traditional birth attendants become skilled birth attendants. And a skilled birth attendant is someone that has been trained to proficiency in identifying what normal labor is and knowing when to refer complicated cases. We should be seen as um, working together. 
and they should come for training, we should teach them, and we should also support them in the little that they do. But most of those herbs, most of those things that they do are really not useful. They cause trouble. Some herbs reduce blood level. So most of them go into labor with a short, with shortage of blood. When they come to us, they're either bleeding, they're either infected, and having problems even with their children. It affects their children. The children to come out very small, diabetes, hypertension, and different things, some of them don't live long. And we really do not want that. We want our maternal mortality to be low. We want our infant mortality to be low. Because these are indices to say how developed our country is. Other things too that can also help to reduce the risk, such as maternal vaccination with uh, tetanus toxoid. Since these women, apart from uh, um, maternity services, you know, they are not, a lot of them don't have access to good antenatal care. So because of this, they are not immunized and therefore the risk is still very high. Lending a voice to the project, wife of the governor of Lagos State, Bolanli Ambodi, encouraged Lagosians, especially mothers, to use government health facilities. Not use of essential obstetric services is a crucial factor that contributes to high maternal mortality. Some women refuse to access care when highly necessary, either because of cultural practices or because decision making is the responsibility of other family members. Poor nutrition before and during pregnancy also contributes in a variety of ways to poor Maternal health. Our government has even done, has given us mandate to improve on our health facilities, especially at the primary health care level. Right now, we are renovating all these facilities. And so, you should be able to visit these facilities to access care. As the 2030 target draws closer, it is hoped that Nigeria will join the League of Countries with zero tolerance to maternal and infant mortality.